here's everything you need to know about mass. A gram is about the mass of a paper clip. We also call, uh, we could also say the weight, but the accurate term is mass. So you could talk about the weight of one kilogram would be the weight of a, um, a bag of cake flour or sugar. And then a ton is a smallish um, average car. There's a thousand grams in a kilogram. There's a thousand kilograms in a ton. To do conversions between those, we want, when we go from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, grams to kilograms will divide by a thousand. Kilograms to tons will divide by a thousand. Other way around, when we go from tons to kilograms, we are timesing by a thousand and from kilograms to grams, we times by a thousand. You can copy this into your workbook. Next, if we look at a few examples, let's start by taking three kilograms to grams. We have to times by a thousand, so that's going to be three thousand. Easy enough. When you have decimal numbers, remember it's as easy as timesing by a thousand is as easy as moving the comma one, two, three. If you've jumped over a gap, fill it with a zero, and that's then going to be four, five, six, oh, four thousand five hundred and sixty grams. If I've got 0, 0,04 kilograms, now you need to think of this, this is not very, this is very small. This is not close to one kilogram. So this is clearly going to be a small amount of grams, not in the thousands. Let's check. Moving the comma, one, two, three spaces. I'm jumping over a gap, which I fill with a zero. So that just leaves me with 40 grams. Okay, now let's go from grams to kilograms. So we're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit. So we're dividing by a thousand now. Let's see. Dividing by a thousand, I'm starting with the idea that there's a comma at the back of my number. And I go one, two, three. So that's going to be two comma eight, six. Now that last zero doesn't have to be there anymore. A zero at the end of a decimal number you can drop. So it's optional. 350 grams. Remember, a thousand grams is a kilogram, so 350 gram is not going to be a whole kilogram. It's going to be less than that. So if I start at the back with my comma and I go one, two, three, I end up with my comma there. So that's going to be zero comma three five kilograms. Again, that last zero becomes optional. So it's basically um, zero comma three five is less than half a kilogram. Okay. 70 gram, well clearly that's going to be a small decimal number because remember that a thousand grams is a kilogram. So 70 grams will not be close to one whole kilogram. If I start at the back, one, two, three jumps because there's three zeros in a thousand. That gives me a comma there with a gap to fill with a zero. If the comma ends up in the front of the number, remember that you're going to need to put a zero in front of that number. The last zero remains optional, but please note that this one that you've entered here, you must have. It's a placeholder now to say there's no tenths, but there is seven hundredths when it comes to my small decimal number here. When reading scales, remember to count the gaps. Not all scales count in the same amount. So if we look at the first scale here, this one will be A, this one will actually be B, that one will be C. If we look at scale A, what are we counting? Um, we're going f 1 kilogram, 2 kilograms, 3 kilograms is what we can see. We can now see that the um, the dial is just past two. Let's see how many gaps are there between, let's say between one and two kilograms. One, two, three, four gaps. So in an entire kilogram, in a thousand grams, that's one kilogram, there is four gaps. So I divide that by two. That means I'm counting in 250 gram gaps. Okay. 
and now I can look at where I last saw a number before my dial. That was a 2. I can see that the 2 is there. And it's 1 on from 2. In other words, it's 2 plus 250 grams. That 2 kilogram. So that's going to be 2 kilogram. And 250 gram is 2,25 kilograms. Okay. Scale B. If I count the gaps from 1 to 2 kilograms or from 0 to 1 kilogram, there's only two gaps in a kilogram. If you look there, 1, 2, then I'm at 1 kilogram. So if 1 kilogram is 1,000 grams, I divide it by two gaps. That means I'm counting in 500 gram gaps. Now when I... When I look at where the dial is, I'm going to see right, 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 there's four. It's just past four. It's one gap past four. So it's four kilograms plus a 500 gram gap. So this one will be 4,5 kilograms. The digital scale is very easy to read. This is 0, 0,25 kilograms. But if you're asked to give it in grams, it will be 250 grams. Let's look at this one again. We need to uh, firstly figure out what we are counting in. So between 45 and 46, I'm going to call this scale D, I count 1, 2, 3, 4. I count 4 gaps. So I'm going to take 1,000 gra um, grams and divide it by 4 gaps, which means I'm doing 250 grams um, gaps 250 gram gaps and that means that here we are just past 45 one gap past 45 so it's 45 plus 250 grams so that'll be 45,25 kilograms okay last one is e and we can do in a one kilogram there, 1,000 grams, I'm counting 10 gaps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10. So if I divide by 10, that means I'm doing 1,000 grams per gap. The gaps are 1,000, uh, sorry, 100 gram gaps. And it's just past 8. The dial went past 8 and then it went 7 gaps past 8. So I'm getting to 8 plus 700 grams. So that's 8,7 kilograms. Right. Lastly, just to tell you how to do these, I'm not going to do them all for you. Um, when they ask how many paper clips would balance the scale, we're assuming that a paper clip is a gram. So they're basically asking you a thousand grams can be made up by how many gram? Sorry, yeah, a kilogram. I've actually given you the answer here. A kilogram will be 1,000 grams. So it will be 1,000 paper clips. But if you look at 250 gram types of margarines, how many 250s will make a one kilogram? In other words, will make 1,000 grams. So you'll need to times that by how many to get a thousand grams okay that's what you need to tell me and also then by how much must you times a hundred to get a thousand grams remember that's our kilogram on the other side and that would then balance the scale here you're going to do some plus sums where you're saying if you need to choose weights from the one shown below to balance a scale containing each of the following objects what you need to do is just take all of these containers you've got these options you need to build the the numbers you see so you need to build a 350 gram so to build the 350 i would take a 200 a 100 and a 50 and that's what you write for me you say 200 plus 100 plus 50. There are other ways to do it, but I think we're going to try and just use each one once and to keep it as simple as possible.